This summer we visited with Chris Perkins, grower and location manager at Crop Production Services in Otwell, Indiana. For the past several years, Chris has been running an experimental high management continuous corn plot using several products in the Loveland products portfolio, including Accomplish LM and Titan. To prove the value of these products he sells to his customers. We spoke with Chris to learn more about the program. I'm Dr. Brian Quinnavis with Agrison, and I'm here with Chris Perkins. Chris, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. And we really appreciate your time and kind of running us through what we're doing to try to get the most out of every acre that we plant. From a history standpoint, this field uh, really hasn't produced um, to the point of where I'm pleased. Uh, in past years, so I thought it maybe maybe it was time to start making some changes from a management standpoint of exactly what are we doing and what could we be doing. I believe that we have a very large vast of untapped nutrients that I've been trying to somehow find a way to tap into that uh, to where maybe we could lower a cost um, from a fertilizer standpoint, but then in turn still sustain high yields and bring up our fertility levels. And that's one of the things that Accomplish and Titan have allowed me to do, I believe, uh, with the continuous corn, um, is bring our nutrient levels up to, to levels that in three to four years that seem almost too hard to believe. Many of the decisions Chris makes in the management of his plot are driven by ongoing research at the university level, primarily that of Dr. Fred Below of the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. We met with Dr. Below to discuss the work Chris is doing. Yeah, Chris has done a fantastic job of raising yields on what I'm going to call marginal soils by using a systems approach, combining all those uh, factors together that uh, can impact yield. And, and even more impressive, Brian, he's done it with continuous corn. And, and the interesting thing is, is while he has fertilized the crop, uh, I won't say aggressively, adequately, his, uh, his, yield, his soil test levels have still risen. I'm pretty sure it, it, it's happening because he's managing the residue that he's getting by growing high yield continuous corn. That residue acts like a, a sponge to immobilize nutrients. Uh, if there's too much of it, it can actually prevent water infiltration into the soil. And I believe it can re release allelopathic compounds oh, that wow. in, under some situations can inhibit the growth of the corn crop. So in continuous corn, it's all about managing the residue. So one of the things that Chris does exceptionally well is he manages that residue so that it releases more of those nutrients in season, throughout the whole season. Okay. And I think that uh, having to stimulate the biological activity of the soil than to, to actually help degrade that okay. residue. If, if you think of the soil, it's sort of a living organism. Right. And anything that you can do to uh, make that residue more attractive to the microorganisms that are in the soil, that's going to really help its degradation and, and the release of the nutrients that are within it. We wanted to learn more about how Chris has tracked his progress this year and what kind of results he has seen from using biocatalyst technology in his residue applications. What we've been doing is, is we've been monitoring soil tests. We test every year the same time in the fall and then we have now introduced in the past two years a spring soil test to find out what type of residue are we breaking down and then releasing more from what that crop brought up to us. So that's really when we started trying to adopt uh, some of the technology. Um, we will come back in here and immediately soil test uh, before we make that next application of Accomplish with a few gallons of UAN to feed all the microbes and, and trying to build and sustain a healthy microbial soil structure underneath to break all these down. It, man's trying to do what nature will already do for us. And that's what I'm trying to figure out, is how can we enhance nature uh, to do this more and more for us. And I think, I'm hoping, that we're starting to head down the right road now with trying to manage some of these uh, corn on corn acres and trying to raise fertility. And what we've been able to find out is in the past three years, 
we have taken a field that was in the mid-20s on phosphorus with a continuous corn situation and running biologicals such as Accomplish and Titan on our fertilizer. Uh, we've pushed those levels to over 150 pounds. We have all of these nutrients from my dad, from my grandpa, heck, probably even my great-grandpa. And that's what we think has come in with the Accomplish technology from the standpoint of being able to break those down for us and to continue on through the new crop. I mean, Chris took that marginal field, and over the last three years, I've seen him raise the yield on that field by 60 bushels. By 60 bushels. Wow. And he's done this with a combination of technologies. He's managed the nutrients that are in the residue. He's managed the nutrients that are in the soil. He's protected the crop. But he's managed over the over three years to raise that field average by 60 bushels, and I, and I think it's even going to be higher this year. So, um, growers like Chris who can take the research that the universities do and then put it into practice that that's the that's what it's going to take okay. farmers seeing is believing